Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to use blurring either on a moving image or a still image in Movie Studio Platinum 13. This should also work in Movie Studio Platinum 12. So, got an example up here of a very short video clip and let me just take you through the process. So, you go to the video that you're wanting to make the the uh, where you want to make an image blur and you'll uh, click the video and go to uh, copy and then paste that's going to add an additional track that you don't need let's go ahead and move this over you need them exactly on top of each other and we're going to delete that audio track we don't need that okay now it leaves us with the overlay video which is what we're going to utilize so go ahead and click the event FX and over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the control key and click Sony cookie cutter and Sony pixelate and then go ahead and click OK and this brings your video effects and let's start with pixelate first go to the preset click large because you want it to have a large pixelation and you'll see what the, that ends up looking like here and then let's go to cookie cutter and one of the things you'll notice is that you can change the shape of whatever the pixelation is you can change it to a square or a rectangle so just depending on the type of project you're working on will determine what you want to do there okay so now we've got our pixelation going and what you can see that the pixelation is pretty big. I mean, it's really covering a wide area there. So let's bring the, the size of that pixelation down, way down. And that should about do it right there. And that pixelates the area that we want. Okay, if you have trouble distinguishing the exact area of, of, that's being blurred in, one of the things that you can do is just click this explanation point on that video track and there you go while I've got while I've got that on there I want to show you how, how that size works again so you can see how you can greatly change the size and the effect and then also you can change the shape too as well so we're gonna go ahead and set that back to circle let's bring that size down just a little bit and we're good to, we're good to go there okay now we're gonna get into something that's a little fun here um, you're going to go to the animation button that's uh, to the right of the circle button there and what this is going to do really is going to control where that blur goes so you know we've got a skier here so obviously the skier is just moving along and so let's let's try that out okay what we're going to do here to make our life a little easier is sync the cursor to the media timeline by clicking that box okay then we're gonna give this a try here I've played with it a little bit already and we're gonna make some adjustments and you can see I need to bring that down follow that just a little bit and I'll keep moving along moving the X along right with it got out of view so I'm gonna move it along And you're just setting all kinds of different points just depending on how much movement there was by the object you hope to not have too many of these as you're doing this all right and we're going to try just that out so now um, let's just try that from the beginning with the media we're going to do a very short segment here and let's play that and you can see how that moved right along with it okay Okay, now let's see how the final product looks with this uh, blur on the skier. Okay, as you can see, that worked out great. And you take a look at this timeline, by the way, and you can see as we expanded the view of the clip, how many uh, settings that there were. And uh, of course, if you're going to do a blur out on a fixed image, that's extremely easy. Good luck. Hope this helps.